Hello out there, welcome back to ATCB Plays Card Hunter. Again, it's been a little while, we're not doing great on keeping uh, these episodes flowing as regularly as we should. Hopefully we'll correct that going forward. Uh, a couple of people have been uh, asking about them in the comments. We've also had some uh, very handy comments uh, from a few people. I want to give a special shout out to uh, viewer Tumas, I hope I'm um, pronouncing your name right. Um, who's given me a whole load of tips like um, this exceedingly handy one for narrowing down the search field really quickly on items in the, in the shops. Just click on the item. Just click on the item you're wearing and it narrows it down. Fantastic. Great. A um, few other things. So these treasure hunts are spread throughout the main campaign. Um, you gain access to them if you get like the starter pack, which I think is the first level of paid content for which you get like a month of club membership and various other things. Um, but apparently, apparently, apparently... Um, uh, I think that this first one is unlocked. When you try and go on it, it's unlocked. Uh, you get like a free pizza slice to unlock it, just to give you a taster, in the same way they did with costumes and stuff like that. So um, yeah, <clears throat> we will um, we will take a look at that, but not quite yet. First, we're going to do Diamonds of the Kobolds because that's level six as well. We'll take on all three level six content before we take on the higher stuff. Eventually, in this, I do imagine I'll have to end up putting down some money for it, um, which is fine because it's a great game. Um, but I do want to see how far I can get without paying anything and without having to do any excessive grind or anything. Because it will give you guys an indication of you know how how much of the game can you play through before um, as a, as a free to play model before um, before the the cash starts biting. And it's fine for the cash to start biting because it is a great game and you know support the developers and everything. But it's handy to know, just handy to know. Some people out there haven't got a great deal of money, and you know it's good to see how how far you can get before you need to put in an investment. So, but before we do anything of that, uh, I don't think I've got any equipment um, to knock up or anything. Um, although um, uh, that self same viewer, Thomas, also pointed out uh, so novice bashing here, uh, the Bruiser card specifically. Um, yes, two damage only bash you play, and it is just cards with um, bash in the title, or presumably bashing there maybe, I don't know, um, which means that stuff like um, bludgeon here, nope, don't get anything for that, control overswing, don't get anything for that, so that's really reduced uh, how handy that is realistically. Um, having said that, I don't have, um, the only other one I have is chop, and I don't have very good. I don't have any other chop stuff either. So me, um, I might leave it in for now unless we can get some um, some other one to replace it. Where have we gone? Um, I you mentioned a, a hint here that apparently um, impaler is a good one to get, grab um, <clears throat> because it's any penetrating attack. And there's quite a few of those. Um, but we don't have another power gem to uh, pop in at the moment anyway um, so these are all rather not really going to work for us um, so we could get uh, the slice yeah it's the same as this one it's basically we either go for slicer with two chops or we go for bruiser and uh, two bashes that we've got here um, so really there's not much there's not much in it unfortunately because um, I don't think got any of the chops or anything like that. We'll just keep this in. I guess we'll just keep this in. It's fine for the moment. There's uh, there's not a whole lot we can do about it. But let's have a look at Diamonds of the Kobolds. And now. The tavern is awash with stories of a secret cache of precious stones hidden in the hills by a clan of kobolds. These guys again. Uh, all that stands between you and the Diamonds of the the Gashstone Canyon Mines are a clan of sneaking kobolds. These furtive but deadly creatures have reopened the long-forgotten mines and even now are chipping away at veins of precious gemstones. Put an end to their unlawful operation and seize the diamonds for yourself. <clears throat> it really sounds more that I'm killing a load of miners and stealing the things they've tugged out of the mountains with their own sweat and tears, but never mind. Um, I'm starting to think more and more that my group of adventurers are just, just murderers, really. Just wandering murderers. Uh, three exciting battles. Actually. Oh god, it's Melvin. Um, the office of the Games Master brings with it weighty responsibilities, Gary. Are you ready, little brother? Gashstone Pass. You travel through the rocky and dangerous lowland hills leading to the mountains. The mines can only be accessed via the Gashstone Pass, a passageway so narrow that legend has it that a band of adventurers once defended it against an entire army of goblins for three days. The kobolds have heavily fortified the pass, aware that it holds the key to their defense of the mine. 
With blood-curdling cries, a horde of kobolds charge you. Defend yourself! Well, there we go. Horde of kobolds. Easy. Not a problem. Encounter. That's a lot of them. Kobolds press upon you from all sides, pouring forth from the twisty little passages of the mine. Okay. That, that is a lot of kobolds, actually. It's, it's, quite, it's quite a lot of kobolds. Oh my god, I've got no attacks. I've got no attacks, oh my god. Um, it's fine, probably, maybe. Um, what shall I do? Hmm, 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 hmm. Should, should I walk forward? Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I should pass and let them get in range of me. Okay, well that's, um, help things out a little. Uh, I can spark one of them. Haha! -ha. Whoops. Sucks to be you. Uh, okay. Just start dealing some damage around. I guess we should be able to kill one of these guys. So let's uh, let's do that. Got a lot of blocks. I'm weeding them out. Boo. Right, well, I'm not killing one of them this turn, then. That's, that's, that's fine, probably. It's probably fine. Uh, okay, let's... This has got a two range. But I do want to get it off, because I've got to start dealing some bloody damage. Um, so let's zap this guy here. Oh, good lord. So many blocks. Um, there's nothing else I can really do, unfortunately. So I'm going to end the round there. Uh, and I've got to get rid of... I don't need much walking. Um, and what are these two? So flimsy block. Block any with damage two or less. Uh, or six or more. Um, well, I'll take... I'll get rid of the two or less. And we'll get rid of the... Uh, we'll get rid of the... <laughs> of the something, of the misguided heel and the run, I guess. So. Uh, skip. Now, what's this one? Uh, when targeted by an enemy attack from the front, move one. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, let's get rid of this guy first. If we can. Excellent. Okay, one down. Uh, let's do a weak. Let's do a. Well, that's that might be good. Let's see if we can use this skip um, to move rather than. Uh... Oh well, there's no point in uh, fucking around, really. Let's um. Let's just move back. That's fine. Bludgeon. Uh, block. Uh, let's weak strike on this guy. Ugh. So much defense on these guys. Reaching swing. Uh, we can take that guy out, I think. Excellent. And now they're all in front of us, but that's kind of fine. Um, there's nothing we can do. There's actually nothing we can do. We could skip back to defend Nilina, actually. Maybe we should do that. Uh -huh. I'll just do that. It's fine. Good protection. That's good. We're not doing too bad, really. We've killed two of them. And we've done a little bit of damage here as well. There are these guys who are a bit fierce. Um, so let's get rid of a walk. And probably that desperate block, maybe. And then a run. In the mail. I like the healing pulses. We'll keep both of those. We could do just more attacks. Okay. Uh, what we got here? What's this guy? That guy is an eight. Okay. Attempt to put righteous frenzy on Chris, so we can take him out with just his attacks. That's not a bad idea, all told. Um, no, it's not. Oh. 
Yay! Ouch. Um, okay, let's try a simple strike on him. With a good old frenzy. And then he's got three left. So yeah, let's um let's do a spark on that guy first. God damn it. Uh, so he's got three left, so actually we can do a draining touch on this guy. Heal three and kill him. Uh, able bludgeon there. We can able stab that dude with frenzy. Yeah. Okay, well that's all our damage done. Um, is it worth doing a healing pulse? Yes it is. Is it worth doing another healing pulse? Yes it is. Just to chew through those cards. And we'll end the round there. Uh, he doesn't need two walks, that's for sure. Ugh. Oh, and he's got fumble as well. Oh, that's fine actually. Um, so what's the punishing strike? Increase its damage by two for each card in the target's hand. Um, so we can probably do a decent amount of damage to. Because use this one early, right? I mean, that's a sensible thing. Yeah. Ugh. That's not good. Okay. I'm just not getting any damage here. I suspect I should start working on these guys because they look pretty fearsome. Ouch. Ugh. Yeah, this ain't great. Um, heal two. Yeah, on uh, on herself. Ugh. And I just can't do anything here with uh, with Nelina at all. Ugh. This isn't good, guys. This really is not looking good. I'm just not getting any attacks out at all. Uh, 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 uh. <sighs> Again, no attacks. Apart from that one attack that I do have. Um, short spark, I should be able to use that to kill this guy with the spark generator thing. So that's a plus. Something's drawn wimpy and skak, this guy, which is pretty good. Um, let's... We actually need to move the cannon S here. And then do a punishing strike on that guy. Excellent! Ugh. Uh, and so he's got eight. If we walk forward, we can um, kill this guy here. Hopefully, with bludgeon and simple bash. Or not, being as they're tanked up with armor. Mob attack. Oof, that ain't good. Gotta start driving these guys down. Ugh. Uh, we need a heal on Chris. Oh, God. Oof. Still not great. Uh, and you can dash back. Uh, yeah. Down the round there, I think. Yeah, this isn't looking great. We still might pull it out. We still might pull it out, but um, do a reliable hide. I'd, re I'd give one really want to get rid of some of these movements. Ugh. 
Uh, oh my god, just just no attacks. No attacks at all. Okay, can we... Um, can we move them away? To there, please. Wimpy! Meh. Could have been better. Uh, right, I want to kill that guy. Uh, but he's gonna. Oh, God! Uh, righteous Frenzy, or. No, maybe not. Um, ugh. I don't really want to move, so. Oh well. Oh god. They're getting very good dice rolls, and I've got no attack cards at all. Uh, don't need that. 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 I have some attack cards, please? No, I still cannot, apparently. Okay. Um, I'd love to get magma spray out, but it's going to... Uh, I could maybe move one forwards. I don't know. It might depend. Um, first off, either way. Oh, I could... Attack is unblockable and penetrating. This might be the first time I've used this. I just want to make sure, absolutely sure that Chris can kill with this next attack. Okay, take them down. Excellent. Okay, let's... Uh, if we run away to here, then we should be able... To move here and magma spray this guy. Ugh, still, he's got the dot on him. No, he hasn't. He's completely blocked the dot. Okay, fine. Um, you, my friend, move over here to force them to do a move next time. Uh, uh, that'll have to be it, I think. Depending on what I draw, I might have it next turn or not. I don't know. Neelin has still got most of her health, so... But all I've been drawing is um, movement and defense. Maybe there's something wrong with my... Still, like, I don't... Ugh. Um, scouting run. Reveals target hand, then move three. No. Do not care about that. Um, yeah, again, I can only deal a total of nine damage this turn. That's so bad. Uh, Chris is just going to die, I think. So I might as well try and deal some damage. Okay. Well, you take that. Yay! Um. I guess reveal his hand. Uh, just a block and a thing. Okay, that's that's actually fine. Can move there, I think. And okay, and round there. Is it my decks? Have I have I drained my decks of? Um... Of a uh... attack cards? I don't think I have. I don't remember having this problem before. Certainly. Uh, yes, you're going to use Bruiser, which doesn't particularly help me. So what's your... you're on five. Well... Is that... no, that's not what I wanted to do. At all. There we go. Yeah, we've got this one. Okay, that's fine. Uh, healing down. Okay, startling strike. 
Hooray! Can this isn't even down. Uh, okay. Predictable stab there. There we go. Okay, we're done. Woo! Close, though. I've built my reputation as a leading GM on my strict adherence to the letter of the law. Shut up, Melon. The pass is littered with the corpses of dead kobolds. And how? The vultures will feast tonight. This black, bl black, bleak mountain pass is no place to rest. You follow the single path leading up the mountain towards the mine. Let's collect that loot. No, look, this is good. Look, at uh, all those attacks. I'm definitely not overloading overloaded with attacks, I don't think. I'm um, overloaded with non-attack cards. Although, having said that on the Canon S, there aren't many attack cards. Hmm. Something to ponder. Uncommon martial skill. Okay, so a new martial skill one. Two bruises, which is useless, and a bludgeon. Okay. Well, thanks. What we got here? Uncommon divine item. Uh, so we've got a rare divine item there. Common divine item there, which... Yeah. So what's this? Heal 5. Ooh. Misguided heal and curse of fragility. So that heal 5 is nice. That's better than that. Uh, and then it's got a misguided heal, which is the same. And it's got short strike blessing. That's only been useful once. And fragile curse is probably about as useful. We'll replace that for that extra heal. Uh, not extra heal, but more powerful heal. Okay. That'll do me. You must learn to respect the cold, hard logic of the die roll. Shut up, Melvin. Mine entrance. The entrance to the mine is guarded by a group of kobolds busy at a game of dice. They are impossible to surprise due to the presence of several armoured pigs, which are aggressive and territorial guards. Armoured pigs? I don't know if that's cool or terrible. Uh, it will provide certainty in a sea of narrative ambiguity. The worrying thing is that's terribly close to actual gems I have met. Um, with a chorus of terrifying oinks, the savage war pigs attempt to distract you from your mission. Okay. That's a bit more like it. There we go. And we're getting spark generator off the bat. That's what I like to see. So, um, let's move Chris up. He's got wimpy. That's fine by me. Ooh, getting right in there, huh? Okay. Um, let's try and... Let's try and start off with a punishing strike, because they are pretty damn good. Whack. That's lovely. Okay. Um, let's do a lunging hack. So move forward a bit and do that strike. Excellent. One kobold, whatever they are. Kobold lungers. One kobold lunger out. Okay, can we... Um... Let's do a quick misguided heal on the cannoness. Just uh, I want them to move, really. Carry past. Don't really want to get rid of these. Um... But these range things aren't that good. Um, I don't really want to move up like this. But whatever. It's fine. We'll just do a scouting run on them. Uh, uh, that location is actually fine by me. So they've got a load of attacks, but no uh, particular thing. Um, I'm not moving up any closer. That's fine. We'll keep these cards for next round. Oh, there's a victory location thing. Oh, okay. We've got to kill them ASAP. That's why they're not moving forward. That's fine. That's fine. I didn't realize that. But we, we should be fine. We should be fine. Okay. Um, we are going to walk Chris forward to here. Because he's our tank. We're the ship blocking. Uh, and then we are going to do... A true bludgeon. Is that true bludgeon? Trained bludgeon, yes. Uh, and we're going to do it on them. Smack. Crash bang wallop. Um, <laughs> yes, you get a prize if you get the reference. Um, we need that two range. 
So you go here, please. Yay! Okay, um, three, five. So if we big zap this idiot, um, and then we can do an able stab and a little zap. Yeah, we definitely got this one. Uh, healing dash. Heal one for every movement you are away from. We don't need that yet. Okay, that's fine. I just want to actually move away now from these pigs. Because uh, I'm a tiny bit terrified of them. I don't really know why. Um, we can do a misguided heal on Chris. And we can leave it there, I think. That's fine. Smack. Oh, God, okay. So we've got to activate Bruiser. We've got to activate Fumble, unfortunately. Although it threw away a card we didn't particularly need. Holy Presence, um, which allows us to do overturn heals. Uh, fragile Curse, add two to damage quickly. We ain't gonna need that, so we can keep it for the moment. Oh, Bruiser applied to that one. Okay, I didn't think. Oh, okay, I'm co I'm totally confused now. Did those pigs just jump over those rocks? That's crazy, man. Uh, okay, uh, one of you pigs can just fuck off. Bye. They're pigs, dude. I don't know what they're gonna do. They're crazy. Uh, totally shouldn't have done that. Uh, uh, uh. Oh no, it'll add it'll add stuff to this big zap. So mildly worth it. Uh, and then we are going to move into this zone. And then back here to get those heals. And we'll end around there. Yay! Yeah, we're nearly one. Um, we probably don't need that righteous frenzy. Holy presence! Hello, big. Uh, okay, you can just move over here, really. And then you can. Uh, can we actually get that pig if we pile on it all together? That's a weird sentence. Uh, no, we can't, so we might as well spread the damage around a bit. Oh, it's that armor on those armored pigs. Bite. No, it's not too bad. Uh, little zaps. Uh, they got good defense, though. I'll do really. <laughs> uh, uh, you, you with the pigs? You get it? You get it? Yeah, you get it. Uh, with the guards and their porcelain pets slain, you may now enter the mine and start plundering in earnest. We've just killed some some miners and their pets. I mean, that's that's literally what we've just done. We're terrible people. Uh, so we'll go. Ooh, that looks whatever it is. That was cool. Rare arcane item. Uh, so with these, that's our arcane items. That's our arcane items. That's our arcane items. Ooh, force cannon. Slide back forward a little bit. Damage, nice. I do like those stone spikes. Target square becomes spikes. Target square becomes spiked terrain. Stop. At the start of each round, occupant takes six points of piercing damage. So we use that at the end of that. That's pretty cool. And a magma spray. Okay. Okay. Um, I don't want to get rid of these zaps. Uh, but we can get rid of all those magma sprays. Uh, tell, I don't want to get rid of those apps either. We'll just dump that there for now and we'll pop this in here. We'll see how it works out. And then we've got an arcane skill. Uh, level 6 arcane skill, level common. I, are these the same? They're the same thing. Okay, fine. Take all and continue. No. Weak GMs will bend Lady Luck to their will. I despise such weaklings. Ugh. They lack the moral fortitude to stand up and cry, I rolled a 1, except that your 18th level character is dead. 
never fear to do the right thing, Gary. Never give in to demands to make the game fun. Yeah. Shut up, Melvin. Mineshaft. The mine is a series of small and interwoven tunnels. Oh, God. The tunnels are dark and cramped, and these conditions favour the diminutive kobolds. Naturally, this is where they choose to attack in force. Kobolds are greedier than goblins, or even dwarves. Oof. Don't cover your ears, Chris. So we'll not give up their riches without a fight. Prepare yourself. Is this going to be a nightmare? Oh, my God. There's so many of them. The kobolds are busy mining, but unfortunately, you fail to surprise them. I always fail to surprise them. Oh, God, are we doing this again? No, it's it's sort of all right. Okay. We need to focus on which side we're going to go. Let's start moving maybe towards towards this side here. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. We can wipe out someone on this first turn. So maybe let's do that. If we go here, then not many of them can actually engage us at once, which is a bit of an advantage. So that's actually what I'm going to do. That's totally what I'm going to do. Oh god, they moved so fast. Um, <laughs> uh, this isn't what I wanted. Um, okay. <laughs> this is really not what I wanted. Uh, I'm going to pass. I'm going to pass. There we go. That's better. Okay. And bludgeon. Thwack. Yeah. Eat bludge. Ah. God damn it. Ugh. Uh, I don't want to move them in range. I've got, ugh, I'm not going to be able to kill on this turn, am I? No, probably not. Ugh. This is not ideal. Not ideal. Really not ideal. I need to start dropping them and dropping them rather soon. Uh, so that's a heal five, right? Yeah. Oh, well, I can actually use that on Chris now. That's not a bad idea. Almost good as new. Ugh. Okay. Now I'll have to be there, I think. Uh, you can get rid of... That male. I don't want you to be complete with that movement. And now it'll just stack up. Oh my god, not again. Seriously, guys. Seriously? Uh, well, we've got to get rid of one of these dudes. This is so bad. Um, you've got to move, dude. Um, there's literally nothing more I can do now. Just got to start moving away, and now you're facing the wrong way. Ugh. This isn't good. I don't think there's anything I can do to help at this stage. Nope. Yeah. I've basically got to sit here now and take loads of damage from them for the rest of the turn. I, I I don't think I can do anything else. Yep. This is terrible. This is really bad. These drawers are just killing me. Like, really killing me. That's, I, I really don't think I've got any chance now. Um... Get rid of that healing dash, that righteous frenzy, that missile block on one of those runs. Yeah. Uh, marginally better. Uh, I've got to do damage with Chris while I can. Not that I can do any damage. Uh... 
Uh, yeah, okay. I am aware of how that works. You don't need to remind me. Uh. So this deals six damage at the st when someone hasn't moved. So... Um, I need it to place it on top of someone to kill them. I'm actually just going to put it here. Because they can't move. Uh, okay, they totally can move. That evidently just means they can't attack. Uh, okay. Fine. Really didn't want that. Uh, yes, uh, go away. Uh. Oh, this is so bad. I'm definitely going to lose this, you guys. I just... Uh, no attack cards means I can't do anything, basically. They're just blocking and parrying so much. Uh, yeah, well... I'm not going to need the movement. Ugh. Rubbish. I'm still just hardly getting any cards. Just no attack cards. And the majority of my cards are attacks. I don't... I'm not really... I really don't get it. Um, I just need to kill someone quickly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yes, very good. Healing pulse. Healing pulse. Oh, God. And now I've blocked myself in with these uh, because they didn't work. <laughs> oh, well, they worked how I thought, but otherwise, no. Um, uh, just get rid of Fragile Curse, I suppose, just to get rid of it. Um, I just need to get rid of it, so whatever. Don't need dash. At least I'm stacking up armors, but there's, I mean, there's no way out of this. Oh my god, look at that. I'm just not getting any attacks. What the hell's going on here? Seriously, what the hell is going on here? Can we... We can't get away from them. They've got us block, completely blocked in, so... Well, we can move slightly away there. And then can we... Well, <laughs> shambling bash. Oh dear, eight damage. Oof. Just try and slightly move forward, I guess. But we are just delaying the inevitable here now, really. Swarming attack. Oh god. Yep, Neelian is down and out. Um. It would be a minor miracle for the cannon S to pull this off. And, and, and it won't happen, so, you know. Because the cannoness doesn't exactly do a lot of damage. Like, <laughs> again, just nothing. Nothing doing. Ugh. Still out, though. That's nice. Move away so that one of them can't attack me. I wonder if by some minor miracle I can 
make it through this? The answer's, I mean, the answer's no, but... <laughs> Not doing bad. Uh, we'll have time for Righteous Frenzy, get rid of that. If if I do this now, I will be... Oh, well, I'm not going to do it now. <laughs> to be fair, they're only going to get two attacks on me a turn, and so they keep rolling like that. Fair enough. <laughs> I just don't have the damage cards on the cannon S, that's the thing. Uh, I'm staying alive via some minor miracle, but... Okay. Uh, startling strike. Just got through all this block card. These armors are uh, definitely helping me out here. Misguided heal. Ugh, that would have been nice. Yay! Oof. Well, still managing to just about hold on. If I if I actually do kill these guys, that's just crazy. Oh god. <laughs> Start out with a heal. Uh. Oh well. Yay. It's got Wimpy on it as well. Just so much defense on the cannoness at the moment. Yes, I know. <sighs> Just not dealing the damage, though. That's the problem. Uh, so I've got to get rid of two. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of... Um, armor to keep. Armor to keep. And that's a three plus, so that's better, right? Yep. Uh... That's armor too. Just protect from damage. Okay, let's get rid of the weak armor. Some attacks now, maybe. Well, holy presence doesn't really help me. But punishing strikes is very good. Um, let's try and kill them with it. Yes. Let's see if we can get some space here. Ooh. Okay, that was our first bad damage for a while. So. Uh, can't really do anything. Get rid of Righteous Frenzy. It's Oh, God. I'm starting to get weird hope now, but... Unfortunately, it doesn't heal me. Um, oh, God. Beginning of the end. Beginning of the end. Warning, warning. Yay! Oh, I reflected back on them too. Oh, God. Traumatic. This is traumatic, guys. It's a shame I don't heal myself. Draining touch. That's going to be handy. Uh, let's start with a misguided heal, though. Yes! Oof. Let's run to there. We can use this for a three heal. This draining touch here. Which is excellent. Good lord, are we going to make this? 
It's insane if we're going to make this. Um, healing dash. Heal one for every square you're distant from your starting square. But they're blocking me off, unfortunately, so I can't do that. And I can't do anything. But I can do that first. Come on. Oh no. That wasn't too bad. Two, three, four. Uh, well, yes. I know. Uh, there, please. Whoa! Handy, to say the least. Um, that does one damage for two turns. I maybe should have cast that on one of them before I went. Yeah, because I could have cast it on them and it would have... Anyway, I'm getting rid of it. <laughs> it's too risky. <laughs> too risky by half. Uh, can we actually... We can kill them with this, right? Can we? Yeah! Good start. And then on ourselves. Yeah! Back up to full fucking health! This is awesome. This is awesome right here. Okay. <laughs> oh god! Come on. Come on, you bastard. Uh, startling strike. Discards are all this block hard. Pow. And that's what I call the old pow and run. Yeah. I can't believe I might actually do this. Punishing strike. Oof. Ugh. Still, still got more than them. I'm down to seven. Get rid of Righteous Frenzy, only two health left. Come on. Oh yes. Oh yes. I can't believe I've done this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Amazing. Amazing. I am amazing. Also, well, primarily Canonist Bastard is amazing. Um, okay, Melvin. It seems a bit harsh, though. I mean, what happens if a player fails his saving throw? What? Does that mean two years of campaigning get wiped out because of one unlucky die roll? Uh, I think Melvin is going to say yes. Aftermath. The kobolds could do little against your superior force of arms, and you are free to search the mines. Unfortunately, the kobolds have escaped with some of their wealth. However, you do find a chest that was left behind in the panic caused by your raid. After examining your loot, you interrogate the kobold leader. He reveals the location of a further mine to the northwest. Did we, did we just torture one of them? Oh my god. Oh my god, I can't believe Canvas Bastard didn't level up from that. That's crazy. Ooh, epics! We could have got three epics, never mind. Uncommon treasures. Yeah, let's sell those small rubies. So, what's this? An epic shield? I think Chris the Bearded is quite interested in this. That's a level 15 common shield. But this is a level 6 epic shield. Icy block. Uh, wounded block. Those are pretty cool. I think they're probably better. Aren't they? Probably are. I'm going to put it on him anyway. That actually frees up his power power token as well. So we can maybe get a better martial skill from that. This is an epic... Pe Trogsbane. Epic weapon. Uh, lots of stabs and stuff. Um, got some stabs there as well. Should probably get rid of Cobo Killer. I do love Overswing, but the rest are a bit rubbish. So we should probably get this. Trog's Bane. Look at that. Ah, it, that's got power tokens, so. Well, that's that taken up. That's that decided then. Fine. Um, so, yeah. Renown up. And I now know as well, again, thanks to Tumus, that um, Renown. Whoa. Uh, renown uh, reduces costs in shops. So there we go. Um, reluctantly, the kobold leader reveals the location of another mine to the north. The White Star Diamond could be there. Well, quite. 
And we've also opened up even more. Compass of Zor. Beneath the frozen earth. Um, so, next episode we'll do White Star. And then the episode after that we'll probably do Defense of Woodhome. Um, so there we go. But thanks for watching. Uh, comment, like, subscribe and all the rest of it. And I will see you next time where Calness Bastard may pull another amazing victory uh, out of her chainmail. Uh, hopefully. Well, I mean, hopefully I prefer that, you know, everyone just didn't die. That would be better. But that may be unattainable. Bye!